Hey guys, Jeremy C here from the Justice Clubhouse, bringing you guys another video. And today I'm going to be showing you guys another way I've learned how to grow our YouTube channel through an app called VidIQ. If you guys want to see another tutorial on how we grow our channel on YouTube, be sure to click the video link down below. But today we'll be focusing on VidIQ and how they've helped me grow our channel here on YouTube. But before we get started, I want to give a big thanks to VidIQ for partnering up with us on this video. So. VidIQ is a Google Chrome extension that basically helps you grow your channel through tools and applications that will basically further your strategy to get the growth you want. It'll teach you how to build an engaged audience as well as attract more viewers to your content. So to start off, once you've signed up and downloaded the extension to your browser, you're provided a bunch of features which I'll be showcasing throughout the entire video. One of which being a button at the top right corner which basically has shortcuts to your YouTube channel such as quick links to your dashboard, your comments, your subscribers list, and everything else in between. It also has vidIQ shortcuts for your channel like analytics, uh, a list of your videos, SEO and tags, as well as a competition page which allows you to see how you compare it to other channels in your niche. And all of these quick links for the vidIQ shortcuts will bring you to the dashboard on their app. Before we get into the dashboard, I want to get into the features that are on YouTube itself. One of which being the mini analytics widget, which is right next to the search bar on the top right. And that showcases various analytics such as views for the last 48 hours, up to the last seven days, and even down to the last 60 minutes. You can also configure it by checking the boxes down below to show your watch time as well as subscriber growth. And this is a super awesome tool because it's very accessible and convenient. So you don't really have to go back and forth to your analytics page on YouTube. I know that could be a hassle clicking three or four times just to get to your analytics. And, and VidIQ made it so that you could see your stats literally seconds after signing into your YouTube account. Over on your channel, there are also a few buttons that also pop up, which are the CSV export, which allows you to download an entire file of your video data, top keywords for your channel and what we use, as well as the trending tab to show what video videos are growing the fastest. This right here gives you more insight to your channel and can help you find what's working and what's not. Moving on to the dashboard, there's a new tab called trending alerts and it's essentially a way to find out what's trending day to day and it notifies you when something is gaining traction. It's a great way for those of you who want to grow along with the newest trends like drama or entertainment or other niches and it's definitely another helpful tool to gain new viewers. So going down to the video manager tab there's a little drop down menu next to each upload and it gives you a few options to optimize your videos the ones that i use are feature this video as well as copying cards and end screens the feature of this video tool allows you to put one upload in which you want to gain more views on at the bottom of each and every upload that you have. Cards and end screens allow you to direct viewers that were watching that current video onto another and the copying of them kind of saves time because you can have like a template and use it every time you have a new video or if you want to update old videos that you have. You could do that too. And yeah, that's pretty much what I use on the YouTube side of the extension. But uh, moving over to the VidIQ app, you're immediately brought to a user-friendly dashboard displaying all of your analytics. It has everything ranging from general monthly stats to your channel demographic and your top viewed videos and playlists. But the tool I use the most is the SEO tool. Over here, it shows the tags for your videos and it also recommends tags for you to use, which helps you in turn get more ranking on search and essentially help drive more viewers to your channel. I tend to use the bulk SEO to help recommend tags, uh, the keyword research to see which has higher search volume and maybe use those tags as well to rank a little higher. There's also a trending keywords which allows me to figure out what's relevant and trending on the day that I'm uploading and hopefully help with the relevancy of our uploads. You can also narrow down the search and find more niche relevant tags that appeal to the type of videos that you create and it really does help attract new eyes to your content. I also mentioned earlier this competitor tool that allows you to see how well you stack up to others in your niche and it can give you a sense of how well you're doing and maybe help guide you in the right direction and showing what you need to improve 
and or change but yeah that's uh pretty much it for this tutorial slash review of vidiq and let me know if this has helped you learn more about the extension as well as how you can grow your youtube channel be sure to leave your thoughts down below as well as any other questions comments concerns about this app and if you guys need more help and tips on how to grow also leave it down in the comments and i'll try to help you guys if you're interested in trying out vidiq please be sure to click the links down below to get started on growing your channel and with that being said thank you again to vidiq for partnering with us on this video and we thank you guys for watching we'll see you guys in the next one